You know, I've made a living pulling spinner or night crawler harnesses, and I like to tie my own. There's a lot of really good ones that are available on the market, but I like to dial in a few little specific things that make a big difference for me. And one is I'm using 20 to 22 pound Sunline fluorocarbon, and I tie two hooks about three, maybe four inches apart, a couple fingers between the two, and I use a number eight Gamagatsu treble hook as the rear hook, and then a number two Gamagatsu octopus hook as the front hook. And then I have a leader that's just long enough. How I like to do it is I hook up the treble hook on the front guide, the very first one, and then I put it once around the reel so that I can have the weight as we're going down the lake or in the rod locker away from the rod tip that's going to keep it from tangling up or getting beat up with, you know, in the rod locker, potentially damaging the rod. And then I also have my lure down at the bottom. So as I grab them in the rod locker or at my feet, I can tell which lure is which color. On the harness itself, when you're tying these, really, it does make a difference depending on where you fish. And things are going to depend a little bit where you're located. On the Great Lakes, I generally use six millimeter beads. In this case, I've got eight of them because that's gonna allow me to give just enough spacing. This is a number five Colorado. So if I'm using a four, five, or six, which is a standard sizes, I'm not gonna be covering that front hook. You don't want the blade to cover the front hook because it's almost like a bad weed guard and you're gonna have not as good of hookups. I've got a little quick change clevis. This is a Dutch fork quick change harness or clevis. And that really makes a good deal because sheephead and other fish won't be able to throw this as easily as some of the other quick changes. And then we're gonna go down to the kind of the, the brains of the operation is the weight itself. And there's a lot of different things you can use, but day in and day out, I'm just simply using a bead chain sinker. So off of my main rod, so I can still use the same rod for crankbaits if necessary, I'm just gonna have a number two dual lock, swivel or snap, no swivel. And that's gonna go into the bead chain, the bead chain sinker. And what I like to do is, is I install on the back of my bead chain on that swivel that comes with most of them, I put on backwards a number two snap that's gonna be on there and stay on there permanently. And that way, I only have to have a little Spro Power Swivel, which these things are just deadly. They're really small, really strong, and not expensive. And I can just put that on there. I'm gonna have no tangles, no mess, no fuss. And that's simply put, how I tie my harnesses and why I do what I do.